All right, everyone, taking a look at the Ahsoka teaser trailer. That's going to be on Disney+. Plus. Hopefully the show is good. they got to work on these scripts, man. All right, first time taking a look at this trailer. Here's the reaction. Let's go. Something's coming. What's wrong? Something dark. I sense it. Red. This is a new beginning. For some, war. For others, power. Whoa, whoa. It's been a while. Things have changed. Started hearing whispers about Thrawn's return. Whoop, there he is. As heir to the Empire. All the book. We have to prepare for the worst. The Jedi fell a long time ago. There aren't many left. Perhaps it is time to begin again. All right, so we got the characters from the cartoons showing up. I would have liked to have seen Thrawn, man. I don't know who these other characters are. Uh, I'm not that privy to the cartoons compared to other Star Wars fans. But the sets don't look great. <laughs> I'm sorry, Disney, but that opening set in the desert looked pretty cartoonish. And maybe they're still finalizing the visual effects here. But as cool as it is to see the volume work and to see these wonderful places in the world of Star Wars... Andor felt like the sets were real. It felt like they were really there. And that really makes a difference in contrast to the volume. Um, you know, I liked how the volume was used in the Batman for some of those shots that they could really control the timing of the day for that sunset. That makes sense. And that can help, you know, reduce the budget if they're able to recreate a scenario for a short two, three minute scene, but it's full of character development, right? So this character development with Ahsoka, she's not a Jedi. She has left the Jedi Order. The Jedi are corrupt. The Jedi are wrong. That's the whole point <laughs> of the prequels, to show that the Jedi were wrong. The Jedi were a corrupt belief system that was not in tune with the Force. Um, same with the dark side. It's not completely in tune with the Force. That's why Anakin Skywalker had to bring balance to the Force by both sides being destroyed. And so we have something new. Um, Thrawn is, is a tactical genius. He represents the Chiss race. And he's the only Chiss as a part of the Empire that I know of. Uh, and uh, he's a really, really bad dude in all the good ways of a villain, right? So I want to see that. I want to see a cold, calculating, effective villain. Not somebody that's just operating in the shadows. And then all of a sudden, somehow, Palpatine has returned. That's not what we want in Star Wars. We want great villains and great writing. So hopefully we're going to get that with this show. Rosario Dawson looks great. She is Ahsoka. And uh, she she means business. She's pretty serious. So I'll definitely tune into the show. But my expectations are lower because of how bad the writing has been in the Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian Season 3. Sorry, y'all. But you got to do better. And, um, you know, there's rumors flying about about what's happening behind the scenes. And I don't think Jon Favreau is the type of guy that would phone it in. But he maybe would phone it in if the upward leadership was interfering too much. That's what I kind of feel about this baby about the Grogu situation. Grogu left to be with Luke Skywalker, then all of a sudden he's back in Book of Boba Fett, and then Mandalorian Season 3, if people didn't watch Book of Boba Fett, they're like, what? Why? Why is Baby Yoda back? And if the marketing department and the merchandise department started to panic, because they said, oh, we can't, you know, we got to continue. Ah, if only you had the cojones to leave the audience wanting more, and to dive deeper into the world of the Mandalorian, and as he tries to go into uh, other adventures while Grogu is training... And then later on, they could re reconvene. Or when the threat grows big enough, um, Luke and Mando, 
can team up and trying to find out what's going on in the galaxy and maybe we can see that in Ahsoka. So who knows? But there is an announcement that uh, Dave Filoni will be directing one of the star upcoming Star Wars films and it'll be a culmination of the Mandover uh, verse of all these different series. Again, comes down to the writing. The writing. If the script isn't good enough, don't make it because you're just going to hurt Star Wars even more. Okay? Okay. As uh, somebody who's been a fan of Star Wars since I've been, I don't know, three years old, watching the original films, uh, we can we can tell when a script is good or not in the world of Star Wars, and they got to do better. All right, everybody, that's Ahsoka. What are your thoughts? Does it look promising? I think it does, um, but uh, we shall see. All right, it's YouTube. You know what to do. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.